All right, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about why the MD25 right here from Primary Arms is not just another red dot. But first, let's see a little bit of it in action. Well, that is just solid stuff for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and get into what the MD25 is. Talk about that ACSS reticle, especially the self-ranging and bullet drop compensation setup in there, because it is very cool, but it can be pretty specific. And we're gonna get into that and the reasons why and what you need to know about this thing should you decide to go with this over a different reticle style. And we're gonna go over the big points. And I might have a full spec sheet for you that need it with a little bit of that elevator music. So. Starting off with the battery life here, we're gonna get a solid rating, but one thing to keep in mind here is there is a lot more stuff going on with this reticle between the horseshoe, the chevron, and the BDC thing going on. You're not gonna get that pure single red dot power for the length of hours. So depending on the brightness setting here, you're gonna get anywhere from 10,000 to 25,000 hours. Now that is still very solid. Basically change your battery out once a year like I do on all of your optics, and you're probably never gonna have an issue with it even if you run them at max all the time. So that battery is gonna be a single 2032, which is readily available pretty much anywhere in what just dozens and dozens of optics run off these days. You will get 12 auto brightness settings. It also has auto live technology. So after you put it down, it's gonna shut off. And then when you pick it up, it will turn itself on. I've not been able to beat that. It's been solid and it will default to your last setting as far as the brightness goes. You'll get 12 settings. It is night vision capable. When it comes to zeroing this thing, it is half MOA adjustments, which is very nice because a lot of other optics in this price point are going with one MOA and you can never really seem to get them dialed in perfect. The reticle style is the ACSS CQB reticle and it is in the color of red. So this is a very specific style of reticle that's not only gonna help you with immediate identification and up close shots, but also gives you the ability to range and use this as a BDC compensation for 762 and 556 out to 600 yards if you're running a magnifier. And of course it will give you that lifetime warranty that Primer Arms is known for and it weighs about six and a half ounces. So not bad at all considering the size. And now for my spec commandos that have to see all of the details, I know you need some music, here you go. I just love that spec music. So I know some of you out there love to see the full specs, every little tiny detail, and some of you just want the big bullet points. There's nothing wrong with either. I just try to make it fun for those of my spec commandos out there. Now, on a serious note, if you guys don't know, YouTube kind of changed or reinterpreted some rules over the past month right around SHOT Show. And that actually caused the, some channels to get completely deleted, like really big channels. Other channels got strikes, some channels got suspended, and some of us were just getting warnings, things like that. Well, having been demonetized and remonetized recently, basically, I wasn't able to put out as much content over the past couple months because I had to take down like a year's worth of videos and then edit like 400 other videos to make sure they were still gonna be okay to leave on the platform based on the new interpretation of the rules. So with that being said, I do know that YouTube takes into account the size and the amount of voices we have in our community here. So with that, I'm gonna ask you to do us all a favor. If you're a freedom of speech person and you're a second amendment person, Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you double and triple check if you think you're subscribed that you still are because it seems to be there's a lot of comments popping up out there on a bunch of different channels saying they've been unsubscribed. And then go subscribe to all of your other favorite content creators as well because it makes us bigger, makes us stronger, and that does make a difference when companies like YouTube and AdSense and Alphabet make their decisions. So huge favor, I know, but I love you guys and I think some of you guys out there love me. Now back into that reticle. What is so cool about this ACSS CQB style reticle? One, Dimitri over there does an amazing job with these reticles and he really puts a ton of time and effort into these to one, make them simple, easy on the eyes and just very, very user friendly. So this is gonna have that horseshoe chevron design with three BDC drops in there out to 600 yards, which is gonna be a huge help if you use a magnifier. 
And at the same time, built into that reticle, you have auto ranging, wind holds, all kinds of stuff built into the Chevron, the horseshoe. So once you know this reticle, like the back of your hand, it really takes all the guesswork out of these things. And having talked to Dimitri a bunch of times on the phone, that's really where his magic lies, is figuring those things out and making it really easy for people like me and you to get through these things out there on the range and use them effectively as fast as possible. Another cool thing about that CQB horseshoe style design, it's really effective out to 25 meters for fast target acquisition with your rifle, but it's also the approximate spread of double lot buck at 25 yards, depending on the choke you're using. So that is very cool, should you wanna use this on your favorite scatter gun. If you guys are interested in anything you see here today or wanna to pick something up, I will have a build list linked down below for you so you can check that out, it makes your life really easy. Well, let's get into the range work with this, talk about the performance of it, how it actually runs out there. Now, the design of that reticle, like I said, it is super fast all the way out to 25. After that, you need to slow down and take a little bit of time on your targets, but the horseshoe design is just quick for speed. Now, the profile of this thing out on the range size-wise it's gonna be a little bit bigger than your H, uh, H1, H2 kind of micro optics from Aimpoint, but a little bit smaller than an Aimpoint Pro if you kind of know the size of those. The adjustment here for brightness is super easy with that large spin knob, and it will default to the last brightness setting for that auto on off function. Looking through the glass here, there is very minimal color distortion. It's a slight blue hue to it, but that is very common due to the coatings that they have to put on here to one, make your LED battery life last, but anti-glare, anti-scratch, anti-fog, all that stuff that you need on a red dot optic. So that BDC reticle, we really need to address that for a second because this is meant to really be used with a 3X magnifier behind it. Otherwise, those three dots in there are just gonna look like one solid red line to the naked eye until you flip over the magnifier and then you're gonna get maximum use out of that BDC. So you gotta be cognizant of that should you decide to go with this version of the ACSS reticle in there that you're either gonna to have to grow into a magnifier or already have a magnifier to really maximize the effectiveness of the built-in reticle in this dot. Well, let's go ahead and address who this red dot is really for because there's several things you need to take into account if you are looking at this new MD25. The first thing you're gonna to have to think about is, do you plan on running a magnifier or growing into a magnifier in the future? because you're gonna really need that to make maximum use out of this specific reticle. Next up is gonna be, do you wanna spend right around $200 because that's what this one's gonna cost, like 199, 200, something like that, and then have the additional cost of that magnifier because you're either gonna want that now or in the future. And can you live with the battery life? This isn't gonna give you that 50,000 hour battery life, but if you want an auto ranging BDC reticle like this, you're gonna sacrifice battery life, but again, changes about every year and it's kind of a non-issue. And then lastly, do you even like a reticle design like that? Because it can be a little bit busy on the eye until you get used to it. But ultimately, the horseshoe and the chevron, it's just super fast. Now, is this a good value coming in at $200? Absolutely, but it is pretty specific and dependent on how you wanna run your rifle, how you wanna outfit it, and the distances you see yourself shooting at, whether you're 5.56 five, or a 7.62 person. So you don't wanna run a magnifier? Probably not for you. You love you some three power, it's probably really one to take into account. Let's go ahead and talk about what that optic is actually sitting on here because I know somebody is gonna ask, and again, I'll have a build list for you. First off, this is the 17 design lower right there with an arrow precision full built upper. It's gonna have that 416R stainless barrel, a gamma brake on there, which I'm a huge fan of, and then that M4 E1 enhanced rail on there. A little thicker than some of your modern stuff, but. If you've never seen the M4E1 uppers, the rail actually screws into an elongated section that's built into the upper. They are absolute tanks. Aero Precision does an amazing job on their products. And then the Daniel Horner trigger right there from Timney, amazing two-stage trigger. I have videos on all that stuff if you wanna check it out. And again, the build list will be down there. Just a Fab Defense stock out there. Nothing great, nothing bad, but this isn't like a real hard use rifle kind of a fun thing out there on the range. And then actually this is the side folding lower, which is integrated into the receiver right there, as you can see. But uh, this company, 17 Designs, is no longer around. But apparently the side folding lower here was actually patented and owned by, I think, Shield Arms. And from my understanding, they make them a little bit better, a little bit tighter than this company did. So. I'll link that over there if you are interested and you just have to have you a side folder because 
imagine, you know, a pistol version of this or a 10 and a half inch or anything really compact makes an amazing truck gun or trunk gun or whatever you want to do with it. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the MD25 right there from Primary Arms. So remember that build list will be linked down below should you want to check anything out. Make sure you double and triple check that you are still subscribed to the channel. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, just go ahead and smash that button for me. Leave me a comment down below if you like what Primary Arms is doing, and we'll talk about your preferred optic in the comments. So get out on the range, have some fun. Remember, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I will see you all on the next one.